One of the biggest problems that YouTubers will find is finding music for videos. Now, it doesn't depend what sort of YouTuber you are, you may be a YouTuber like me, who does snowboard videos and all kind of random stuff. You may want some background music, you may want some cool pumping sounds, or you might be a vlogger. You want some music just to play in the background so as your vlog doesn't sound thoroughly boring. So, important question. How do I find music for my YouTube video? Two ways. One of those is paid sites. There are a number of paid sites. On5, Premium Beats, Epidemic Sound. These are just three sites, commercial sites, where you can obtain music to use with your YouTube video. Now, they work on a different basis. Some of them will charge you individually per song, and it might be 50 pounds, 50 dollars, 50 euros. It might be a lot more, depending on what it is that you want to use it for. Some of them will charge uh, a monthly subscription fee. I believe that is Epidemic's method. As you can see on the screen here, a YouTube channel from just 10 pounds. You're paying that monthly, but you get a variety of different music. Now, I know some YouTubers, some big YouTubers, use this site and other sites. Well, not everyone is a big YouTuber. Not everyone has lots of money. So, how do you get music to use for your channel if you don't have megabucks? What about free music, free channels? Well, there are copyright free and royalty free music available out there, but it's a little bit difficult to find at times. Thankfully, YouTube is actually your friend. So, there are a number of sites on YouTube, a number of channels, that provide a variety of different music. So, as you can see here on the screen, we have Audio Library. We have Bass Rebels. Uh, this is a new one that I've recently heard about, and they've got a nice wide variety of stuff. Audio Library, I tend to find, is more sort of the vlog kind of thing. Now, Free Music Wave and royalty free music have a variety of stuff which can be used for vlogs it can be used for background music um, and and b-roll as well or if you want to do anything sort of exciting like snowboard videos like i do they've got a wide variety now the copyright sounds probably the biggest one of the lot I mean, as you can see there, they are just short of 15 million subscribers. And they tend to cover more, well, shall we say upbeat music. They have dubstep, drum and bass, a whole wide variety of uh, electronic dance music. Definitely not aimed at vlog music, or background music. But if you want some really cool music for, for a snowboard video, good. The fact of the matter is that there are a number of sites out there that do provide copyright free music. Now the problem that I have found previously is that sometimes the music that is copyright free when you get hold of it might not be copyright free 6, 12, 60 months down the line. It may well be that you know the person who owns it uh, decides to copyright it. So. Big question, can I use commercially released music? I mean, you might have some Skrillex song that you really like. You might like Justin Bieber. God knows why you'd like Justin Bieber, but you might like Justin Bieber and want to use him in your video, or use his uh, music in your video. Can you use it? Well, yes and no. YouTube has a funny relationship depending on the music and who owns it. Sometimes you will be allowed to use that music. You certainly can't monetize it. The organization that owns that music will allow you to use the music, but any monetization goes immediately to them. Some companies, some record companies, will actually strike you down. They don't want you using it. They don't want you using it at all. Your video may well have no sound on it, if that is the case. Or, 
you'll get another one where it's restricted by country. So you can, if say you're in America or Australia, you can listen to it, but if you're in Germany, you can't. Again, it depends on the company. It's very annoying, it's very irritating. This is why I would always suggest avoid using any music that is commercially available. Stick to copyright free music. There is a lot of it out there and it's really, really good. It's really good, it's well worth using. So another question that is often asked is, can I use a small portion of music, say 20 seconds, 30 seconds, can I use that and get away with it? Simple answer, no. You're using someone's copyrighted material. You can't use it. What happens if I get a copyright claim? Well, first thing, you'll get a notification from YouTube. Then you can go and have a look at it. You'll get the email, then you'll get a link and deal with it there. Now, you may well just say, okay, fine. It depends on what the claim is and what they say. As I said previously, if they turn around and say, we don't want you using our music at all, well, you're a bit screwed, aren't you? Uh, if they turn around and say, well, we're happy for you to use the music, but you can't monetize it, you go, okay. Now, if you're getting a claim and you feel it's wrong, or you actually have permission to use it from the content creator, from the original copyright owner, you can dispute it. But I would suggest sticking with the copyright free stuff. I've changed, I've changed, I've changed, I've changed. Hey, hey.